This is Hero Comics. Uh, short, you know, after seeing Ghost Robo's a uh, game collection video, I decided to uh, show off my game collection. So let's show it off. Mm. Okay, all game and DVD collection. And here we go. Basically, there's a lot missing because basically, uh, we used to live mm, in Texas for a while. Mm -mm. But then um, we heard that our uh, grand, yeah, that uh, one of our grandparents had like a heart attack or something. So we, uh, mom was like, okay, we're gonna go up, uh, go up there. And hang out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come, on, come on, guys, guys. We're gonna go up there and hang out for a little while and help them help them recuperate from that. So I was thinking, okay, that's just gonna be a little while. I'll just take my Super Nintendo, uh, just over there. Well, I think it is. I think that. I think that's it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'll take my Super Nintendo and my, you know, some of you and uh, my some games and things. And just go up there, and we'll come back in a few weeks or whatever, and you know, hang out in Texas some more. We ended up staying here for, uh, staying, up staying in Ohio, for, you know, staying here in Ohio uh, for the next 10, 15 years. <clears throat> so <laughs> that kind of was annoying because we lost a lot of stuff. But the cool thing is, we got a lot of stuff too. So I'm going to show you this stuff right here. Name. Yeah. Yeah. Again, oh, oh, there's stuff missing still. Okay. Basically, you have a bunch of PlayStation Two games here and GameCube games. So you got RPG Maker Three. Uh, yeah. Oh man, <clears throat> RPG Maker. My first RPG Maker game. I got. I got the original RPG Maker as well. <clears throat> oh yeah. This one, PlayStation One. I may actually show you guys some of this sometime <clears throat> because this is like so great. Uh, but what happened? Yeah, this game was definitely a very interesting game. Mm, this one right here, because what happened was this game cost fifty bucks. Mm. Okay, I was able to save, get my mom's permission, save up that money, and go one day down to Tower City. I believe it was Tower City. Yeah, it was. It was, it was the GameStop in Tower City. Yes, and basically, I got this game right here. No, took it home, you know, basically got on the bus, I guess I got on the wrong, well, I was actually living in a different, way different place in Ohio than I do now, because now it's like a simple bus ride, back, one bus back, and I just walk a little while, and I make, uh, yeah, back then it was like, oh, take a bus, uh, then you'll take a, you know, get off that bus, get, you know, take another bus, that's where you need to go, yeah, so it was a lot harder to get, you know, so basically what happened with this one is, I uh, got it, took the bus, unfortunately took it too far, I think, Took it to the end of the line, and he's like, "Yeah, we're not going anywhere for like an hour." I'm like, uh, "You know, I, I want to play this game." So I walked miles and miles, you know, home, miles and miles. Not I know about home, but miles and miles to the nearest to, to where I could get a bus that I wanted uh, to, to go take me home. And I went and played it, and I was not disappointed. This game is one of the first games that I ever made my own game with, <clears throat> right here. All right, this would lay the foundations. For my enjoyment of things like Mugen <clears throat> and stuff like that, okay, this game is so wonderful. Even though it's like really old st school style and everything, it, it is so in depth, so great, so wonderful. I have to check out the second RPG Maker game. I have RPG Maker Three, which is pretty good. Not as uh, in depth, and deep as this one, but pretty good. <clears throat> But I want, yeah, I gotta get RPG Maker 2 to see how that looks out, how that works as well. But anyway, I will definitely show you guys that, because I totally can, because I got my PlayStation 1. I got PlayStation 1, so there you go. I'll, I'll show that eventually. All right now, though, let's continue. Got RPG Maker 3, which is pretty good. I can do some cool stuff with that. I might, I'll might. i definitely show you that, some of that as soon as I can, when I get a PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got a GameCube game. Some of them are from my former roommates. Unfortunately, this thing is not in here. Mm -hmm. That would be great if it was. Mario Sunshine? Oh, my goodness. I, I totally play that. But I want to actually see how it is. Uh, Wario Land. Now, I had done a walkthrough of Wario World. Mm. Okay, check it out. It's really cool. This game was okay. There were some issues with it, but it was okay. It was good. Lord of the Rings Third Age. That's a Final Fantasy clone. Mm. I might play it because it does look kind of interesting. But uh, still. Mm. Urban Rain. Oh, yes. Mm. I'll, you know, basically, I might actually just go for all the characters this time. I, I don't know. I might just, I might just, I'll just, I'll see what happens. And of course, the one you guys like, love the most of all of my walkthroughs. It's got the most views of any walkthrough, any game videos I have on YouTube right now. Nicktoons Attack of Toybots. You guys love this game, and so do I. I'm very glad I got this because it was either this or this Incredible Hulk open world game. And they were both $15, and I was like, you know what? 
which one do I like better? I see all these characters. If you can play as these guys, and I was thinking, man, if you can play as as SpongeBob and, and Jimmy Neutron and Tack and Danny and you know, you know, well, you know, I was thinking, well, Patrick, but yeah, I was like, yeah, no, maybe he'll be kind of cool, and he was amazing. Oh, uh, you know, maybe you know, this is worth it. This is what I, I know we're wrong. The Hulk is cool, but you know, this this may be more worth it. I, I'll get this one, and I am so glad I did because you just said you just basically I just you know enjoyed it, and you can play as uh, a bunch of other characters too. You know, XJ9, Jenny XJ9, Sam, Sam from Danny Fandom, and a bunch of other characters. You could play as all of them. It was so great. It was so wonderful. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a playthrough of that again. Because so I did a playthrough. So there you go. I don't know. Mm, no, I'm going to move on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, never mind. Mm, Beautiful Joe 2. Oh, boy. Mm, okay, the issue with Beautiful Joe is that I've been playing on GameCube for a little bit, and, you know, you saw some of those walkthrough parts, and it was fun. But it was super hard and, and annoying, and I'm like, you know what, I, I really want to move on to something else. So I, I have been moving on, and I got Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is actually a lot of fun. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider right here. Got Tomb Raider 2. It's actually a lot of fun. She looks great. Mm, she's, you know... Good, yeah, she looks. She yeah, it does it's not exactly the the, the best looking game anymore, but it's, it's still there's a lot of, a lot of a lot of things in there that show off how you know things are gonna get. Basically, the way she, the motion capture was just so great on this game. Mm, the motion capture was just so great on Tomb Raider. It was just so un, fun. I did like that. Now I did li I liked it. I like it, and I'm gonna play the rest of the. I'm gonna play it through the, at least the rest of the story. I'm not even gonna do that because well, it's important to do that. And of course, Star Ocean till the end of time. Mm. Let's get it off of there. Get off of there. Get off of that. Sorry, I was until the end of time. Fourteen dollars, you know, fifteen bucks. Used my brother had it, and he let me let me borrow it. Let me uh have it. You know, played it, and he let me have it. Like he may have gotten another copy, he may not. Yeah, yeah it's not our favorite game ever. Because <laughs> we both played Star Wars in the Second Story, and we really like that one way more. But this is a pretty solid game. There's a lot of fun stuff in here. It's just an annoying story, annoying story, and sometimes annoying characters. I'm looking straight at you, Fate. <laughs> but still, pretty fun game. For your money, you can definitely do a lot worse than Star Wars until the end of time. You know. I will definitely be playing that again because uh, I forget, there was like issues with copyrights and things like that. And may, I made huge mistakes. Put a bunch of things on there. A bunch of let a bunch of the TV shows and movies play while I was playing this game. That was a huge mistake on my part. I am really sorry about that. And I will, you know, as soon as I get a PlayStation Two, you know, I will you know, a new PlayStation Two. I will, you know, just do it again and do it right this time because that was just horrible a huge disservice to you and me you and me uh guy you guys and me it was just not right it was just not fun so i will gladly i will definitely be playing this again going through the whole story again probably not trying to get roger that's that takes even longer but uh you know i got roger before so i might just go through the regular story which will take way shorter and it'll just be like me i'll maybe even i'll probably get albell this time so yeah it'll be cool it'll look a cool little thing there and we'll work on that oh, oh. And it goes Wild Arms Aftercode. Wild Arms Aftercode, um, I probably will play that eventually. But, you know, that, it came with this DVD. Let me just get it. It came with this DVD in there. That seems to be very, way, seems more interesting to me than the game. But, who knows? This is the first game. Is it the first game? I don't know. But we'll find out. A remake of the first game. But anyway, the, the DVD of Wild Arms was very interesting because you had some criminal dude get you know gets brain get transplanted into the, the body of this little kid little dude <clears throat> little dude and stuff little and it was weird <laughs> it was everything really weird. and he's basically going like what the heck's happening it's like it's like that was the little kid he's like what the heck's happening to me man you? <laughs> you know i was awesome before what, what's going on <laughs> you know? and it's this he has to deal with that he has to deal with this little vampire girl who's super cute and interesting you know yeah, and maybe in some ways made even more interesting by the fact that she that she thinks he's he tastes delicious <laughs> it's so great it's it's amazing it's amazing i i am I, I i would like to see more of this even though it was pretty violent though you know, that, was, that was a problem with it uh of course it's what's suggestive but anyway definitely want to see more of this because i think wild arms was one of the first games the first wild arms of the one of the games i was like man i you know saw on this one tv that had those uh speakers that you fold in on it and 
that speaker made me go like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to see the speaker. I want to get a TV like that because they had those fold out speakers, you know, because the speakers fold in onto the, on, on top of the screen and that looks cool. But then you fold them out and they're like right attached, you know, and I was like one of the first games I saw in there. I would love to get the original one that isn't 3D, you know, or it's like, you know, older looking so you know be more authentic you know because uh, that's the way i want to do it but anyway we'll see we'll see we'll find out anyway and here comes one you know that's those places do games i got a few places more places to do games and i'll get to them eventually but in there's project slow feed one of the my least favorite of all xbox games ever mainly because it's supposed to be an rpg <clears throat> okay uh also or i found out the last slow feed games were actually supposed to be were on rails this one is not on rails. This should have been what it should have been. I think everything this game, I think everything was supposed to be on was on rail was supposed to be on rails. But then that last thing I decided, let's not let's make everything on rails but the but the, you. Okay? So now things fly away from you and into become little specks on the horizon and you're supposed to shoot them. And it's it's, it's tedious and annoying and you know, I might maybe I might be interested in doing it for the cutscenes but maybe yeah, no uh, there's the cutscenes look like they're supposed to look awesome and uh, I'm interested in seeing how that things play out but still it's the gameplay that makes it so I don't ever want to actually play this game ever again get out of here mm -mm. what I got what I got what I got ultimate spider-man mm. ultimate spider -Man. yeah I got a bunch of these games for like five dollars each <clears throat> you know including ultimate spider-man and uh, I, I definitely would like to play it I guess once through looks kind of interesting, but not like my favorite kind of game. But you know, Spider Man, <clears throat> he's pretty cool. So let me check that out. Once I get a clear, another uh, PlayStation Bionicle. The game Bionicle was uh, definitely hilarious. <laughs> In my opinion, hilariously bad. I played that thing and I was like, why? <laughs> why did they think? Now there's some good stuff in it. There was some good stuff in there, but there was like a huge issue with how. You know, they, they did everything in this thing so badly <laughs> that it was just so, so silly that they just let this, you know, come out and it was like, you have a homing attack, you know, homing ability, ability to shoot homing projectiles where they, 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 they go into the ground in front of your enemy, uh, you know, difficulty can be really hard. It was basically like a third party game that, you know, if it was a third party, you know, that looked like a third party game. Now I'd be like, oh, if it was an actual third-party game, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this, this, this is not bad. This is kind of bad, but it's third-party. This is from, you know, a uh, guy who, you know, five people in their basement, you know, co, you know, company. You know, the five people in their basement company, you know, they did the best they could. Now, this is EA. <clears throat> EA. <clears throat> they did it. <clears throat> EA. The guys who made Lord of the Rings. The guys who made the Lord of the Rings games and stuff. So it's really kind of crap that they just totally just messed this thing up so much. You know, yeah. And I, was, I played through the story, and it was it was okay. You know, the story was kind of interesting. But then it's like, okay, you got to go back and collect all these things. I'm like, no, I don't want to come. <laughs> like, Wild Arms 3 is looking kind of interesting because I want to like, you know, kind of interesting, you know, it's very cowboy type motif on that. And it looks still kind of interesting. The problem, yeah, I definitely want to play it. I definitely want to play it. I got to get a walkthrough for it. Of course, yeah, let a, uh, what's it called? FAQ for that thing because that looks kind of, uh, you know, it looks, yes. Okay. I got to cut this video short. Use my help. The work of a hero is, uh, Sometimes never done. So I'll see you on the next episode of Hero Clanks showing off his, you know, his game.